Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian. Uh, today I'm doing a straight pour and I'm going to do a technique that I haven't found yet on YouTube. Not saying it hasn't been done, but, um, and it's not all that inventive, but I thought I would just give it a shot. So I'm going to do a straight pour, pouring from my beaker cup, but I'm going to be pouring through a PVC pipe. My plan is, is I'm going to hold the pipe a little bit off the canvas so it's not touching the canvas. And I'm going to pour my paint through and let it hit the canvas and spread and then I'll tilt out. All right, let's get down on the canvas. Let's talk about the canvas size and the colors and how I'm going to use this pipe. Okay, kids, what we got is a 20 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. It's taped and push pinned on the back. I'm gonna need about 14 ounces of paint for this size canvas. I've painted my sides and edges because I don't want white canvas peeking back through my color. Colors I'm using today, got a lovely palette. I've got Pyrol Red from Amsterdam. Creative Inspirations and the paint's great. Pepeo Studio Acrylics in the Iridescent Blue-Green. 24 karat gold. I don't have the container over here with me. From Deco Art, Americana Decor Metallics. Uh, Artist Loft Soft Body White with Deco Art Satin Enamels in the white. <clears throat> Amsterdam in the, pi uh, excuse me, Azo Orange. Pyro Orange. <laughs> <laughs> and Amsterdam in the Americana Decor Metallics, or excuse me, Deco Art Americana Decor Decalics in the Sapphire. All my paints are mixed with mixed pour. Uh, so nine ounce cups, I put five ounces of mixed pour to about an ounce and a half of each paint. Uh, you can order your mixed pour from Krista Rasmussen at Krista8974 at gmail.com. All right, so let's get to starting layering our cup. So let's put a little red first. Put just a little bit of white. Paint's great. Blue green. A little bit of gold. Some white. Back 
then the sapphire blue. Making this up as I go along, folks. It's gray. Green. Add some white before the gold this time. Pour right here into the center of the white. All right, so let me preface this with, I have not tried this once. I was gonna try it with some old craft paints and stuff, and I thought, eh, live on the edge. So I'm gonna hold it like this and pour, maybe I'll do it at this angle so you can see, all right. Games begin.
I am gonna fix this center here with what's left in the cup. So things are starting to react. I am worried about the middle because it is looking very deep, dark, muddy purple color. So I'm hoping as I stretch out, that's going to lighten up a little bit. Um, we'll see. Let's torch this. Okay, so I'm gonna use, I've got like this deep purple color that I'm gonna use for my flow extender. It's uh, something that was scraped off my table. And so I strained it to make sure there was no goobers in it. And I'm gonna use it. Torch. All right, let's begin. Just gonna start to move this around, open it up a little bit. Too much mud. Okay, so I think what happened is my pipe is too long. So it definitely, even keeping the paints thick, just didn't work out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer the cup again and pour regular straight pour.
We'll try this again. We're not going to use the PVC pipe. I'm going to need to shorten up the pipe, I think, to eliminate that muddy effect. So we're just going to do a straight pour. Ready? Go. Get that mud off of there. All the while trying to hold on to the integrity of the center and all those fingerlings that are on the outside.
actually got some gorgeous lines. I got some huge fingerlings. I'm loving what's happening in the center. It's almost like the center of a flower. Really beautiful. All right, I'm gonna do some touch-ups and then I'll bring you guys down. Okay, I'm gonna bring you down. I'll let you see this. Be right back. All right, here we go. Got some really great lines. Got some really large fingerlings. Looks great. Let me start you up here in the top left. All right, here's the drive result. Sorry for the background noise. It's beautiful and sunny here today and everybody's out doing their lawn work. So <laughs> uh, check out the fingerlings in this. The color scheme, just beautiful. I'm going to put Liquitex gloss varnish on this, not resin. Um, it's gonna really make these colors come back bright and vibrant. So let me bring you in here. Okay, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. This is, the, again, the dried piece. It came out really nice. Uh, the PVC pipe pour obviously was not a success, but I know what I need to do uh, going forward. So um, it's a couple of things. What I need to do is I need to shorten the pipe, which that's what I stated. Uh, the other thing is, is I didn't notice it until I was editing the video. I kept saying, you know, it was the PVC pipe problem. And it was being a long pipe, but I also layered the red and the Payne's gray, and that just created that deep purple color. Um, I should have separated that with uh, some white. That would have helped that out a lot. So shrink up the pipe. So we're gonna make this pipe half the size, and then um, I'll try a different color palette but that is definitely where I went wrong on the PVC pipe. So I'm definitely gonna do it again because I think it's gonna recreate some really cool effects. So um, I'll try that probably in a week or so. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget my Etsy shop. Everything there is 30% off. Don't miss out on the sale. The sale ends this Friday. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for this video. So have a great night. I will see you on Friday for our Earth Day pour. Take care. Bye-bye.